In tonight's top story, a new food desert in Colleen is making it hard for families and businesses. Last October, a 60 year old HEB closed its doors downtown, and now those who live nearby are having trouble getting food, and local businesses are losing customers. They are. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell spoke to Colleen City officials about their plan to draw more people to the area now that a popular grocery store sadly is no more. Chris and Leslie, last year, HEB says they closed the North Gray Street location due to changing market conditions and the need for extensive facility renovations. Now, according to Colleen City officials, HEB was losing thousands of dollars and really had no choice but to close shop. Henderson's Family Restaurant has been around for more than 20 years and is a staple in downtown Killeen. But since the closing of HEB on North Gray Street, the owner, Juan Jung, says business is no longer booming. We lost a lot of senior customers who used to come here after they do grocery shopping at HEB and they stop by and have lunch or early dinner and those people are gone. HEB wasn't the only grocery store to close in North Colleen. IGA Food Liner shut down in August. The closure of both grocery stores left people who live in the area without a place to buy food. Now the closest HEB is 2.5 miles away across the busy I-14 highway. Jung fears Henderson's will close too because HEB is what held the neighborhood together. And downtown area has lost a lot of business, small business, and a lot of people left. So HEB just was part of that. Colleen Mayor Pro Tem Jim Kilpatrick says several businesses have looked at renting the building where HEB used to be. Unfortunately, none of them are grocery stores. Um, as everybody knows, uh, HEB, the, the most successful uh, food industry business in Texas, um, they marketed and did everything they can, and they lost thousands of dollars each month. Kilpatrick says downtown Colleen is an ever-changing market, and their goal is to make it a destination city. And to do that, they are bringing in the highly anticipated Mounted Warfare Museum, which will be filled with exhibits that focus on telling the stories of soldiers who have served on Fort Hood. We bring in approximately 150 to 180 people into this, uh, this marketplace in Central Texas, and we anticipate it being somewhere near a $5 million enhancement to our, our income. And that's a plus for Jung, who says he wants more military presence in the area to make business stronger. It's my biggest wish is Fort Hood, the soldiers, you know, we, we see more soldiers in the Fort Hood, Kilpatrick says the Mounted Warfare Museum will be next to Fort Hood and parts of downtown Colleen. They'll break ground in April. Chris and Leslie.